Good morning, first grade friends. Welcome to your reading mini lesson for the day. Today we are going to explore and talk about reading a book again, okay? To enjoy it more and to learn more from it. So how many of you have ever listened to a story, read a story, or had someone read you a story and you thought it was really good? Anybody? Okay, so let me ask you this. How many of you, if you raised your hand or said me, okay, how many of you would want to listen to that story again? I know I would. So today we're going to talk about that. And sometimes if you hear a story, you may not have really, really, really liked it, but sometimes it's okay to read the story again because there's a lot of reasons why and I'm gonna share that with you now. So the first reason why it is always good to read a book again is because you can enjoy it again, okay? Or maybe, maybe you can also learn more from the book. You guys can't see all of my chart. I'm so sorry. Okay, so maybe you can learn more from the book, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Or maybe you can notice new things. So kind of like a good movie. Sometimes you have to see it a couple of times to really get everything out of it and to maybe pick up on some things that you might not have seen the first time. Or in this case, things that you might not have read the first time. And last but not least, you can think about the book a little bit more. So maybe you can take time to really think about some of those characters and maybe why they did some of the things that they did or why they didn't do some of the things that they did not do. So our little friend here down at the bottom says, wow, I learned something new when I reread. So I wanted to show you really quick, I'm not gonna read you the whole story, but I wanted to show you um, one of my favorite, favorite books. I love this book. I read it every year to my friends at some point. And it is called Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin. And Doreen Cronin is the author who wrote Click Clack Moo, um, Cows That Type. And she's written, I can't think of, oh, she wrote The Duck. I can't think of the name of that book right now. I'm sorry, it's slipping my mind. But talking about the duck running for election, okay, that's by Doreen Cronin. And this book I love, I think it's so funny. Um, and I know that it's full of lots of pictures. It's full of lots of funny things that you kind of have to understand a little bit to know that they're funny. So I always try to point those out to my first grade friends or whoever it is that I'm reading it to so they can enjoy it. Um, but I just wanted to show you real quick. Oops, sorry, I had something in there. Um, this story, it tells, it, it's fiction, so it's fake, but it tells, um, kind of a, a story and, and some happenings between two friends, Worm and Spider. And there's also Diary of a Spider and even Diary of a Fly. But it gives you Worm's perspective on some things that happen with his friend. And it gives us a different point of view and things that we can learn from his different point of view. So on the front here, this is one thing I wanted to show you. So like the first time you read this book, you may miss this completely. So if you go back and look at it again and really take time to look at all the details um, of the book that you're, that you're looking at, you might be able to find some new things. So he talks about like his first day at school, baby picture of me and dad, um, spider made this for me and notice it says worm. He wrote worm in his web. That's kind of funny. Um, he says my first tunnel, okay and my family vacation on Compost Island. Adults, you can tell them why that's funny. And a picture of him and his friend. So that's just something um, as an example of some different things that you might have missed if you were to read this just one time. And there's different funny parts um, in here too that are very funny. And there's lots of like little side conversation of the characters that's just really funny and and the pictures are super super detailed so the first time you go through you may not even notice that but the second or third time that you go to enjoy this book you might notice those things so if you want to read a good book i highly suggest this one um it might be out um 
adults. If you get on YouTube and you Google Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin, read aloud, you might be able to find one if your um, kiddo would like to listen. So make sure an adult helps you with that, okay? Um, but this is a good story if you want to curl up with a good book. And I encourage you to listen to it a couple times because there might be something that you missed the first time. So enjoy, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!